So it looks like Voyager, Meadowhawk, and Twincast are already showing up in Canada in select stores. So as it said, when we were looking at the BBTS listing, it was showing that these toys were slated to be released uh, this month right here in February. So it looks like man, we're going to be getting those soon. And I ain't going to lie, man, these things look good. We're going to look at the pictures real quick and just sum it up. And I think that these two are going to be the most sought after in this wave, um, hands down. So I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> oh, man, these things look good, man. Like I, I, I don't pre-order stuff. I just get it because... I just, I just don't like pre-ordering like that. It's very few things I'll pre-order. Uh, mainline stuff I don't. Um, something special I'll pre-order. Like I did with the uh, Super Saiyan uh, 5 Goku. Other than that, mm -mm, not doing that. So, well, we'll go ahead and get to the pictures. And we'll get started. And yeah, this thing looks good. Alright, so here we go. We got Metal Hawk and we got Twin Cast. Now, when we see the pictures of Metal Hawk, we're going to be shocked at to see how much the retool was changed on that figure. And there he is with the Power of Primes, those pretender shells. Kind of looks kind of good with the two of them together. But having an inner robot and having its own robot and being retooled to look like the G1 uh, Japanese Master Force, you know, pseudo leader. I'm all for it in the jet mode. And I'm telling you, this thing is heavily heavily retooled from Cyclones to the point where it, it, it it's a great retool. Like a lot of it you're going to see when you see in later pictures, you're going to be like, man, they did a good job with that. I mean, this, this is, this is Hasbro done right, man. <laughs> so, yo, get ready, get ready to get this figure. I want this figure. I want this figure now. Give me, give me, give me, give me more. Just give me more of these Japanese releases. Keep it coming. Keep it coming. You can see the differences from Cyclonus and you know, yeah, like how much has been rearranged. You can see the difference in transformation where the arms are versus how the arms are on Cyclonus. And even the wings, you know, they're different. It's just the arm and the shape of the legs that are pretty much the same, I do believe. If you can, well, I say the shape, not the legs itself, but the shape from the back, you'll see what I mean, where they're still pretty much the same hips, same. I kind of like feet structure, but I think it just transforms a little different. So, yeah. Yeah, only <laughs> oh, the ho poor hollow guns. They are kind of disappointing, but you know. And that's par for the course. And here he is giving a swift kick to uh, Studio Series 86 Cyclonus. Eh, you know, third party's going to give us some more weapons. Um, definitely give us a better sword. And then, of course, you know, third party, it, it, they're going to come through. But yeah, this, I, you know, I'm, I, who cares, okay? The, the damn toy looks good. The damn toy looks good. You know what I'm saying? Just, they just look good. It's, this, this is going to be it. This is it. And the colors are plastered up just right. That's how he's supposed to look. And here he is next to uh, the original blaster and the shattered glass blaster. And you can see the differences in paint and color and face sculpt too. And of course, here is Wee Wine Eject and the shattered glass version of Eject. Uh, just standing there and some people have opened the cassette door. I think his is a little thicker than the one so he might be able to hold two cassettes. I'm not 100% sure. No one's really done a comparison on that. But I think he can. So I don't know. Um, and like I said, it would have been nice to have him come with the two other cassettes. But, you know, we got what we got. His airs we won. And so, yeah, I mean, everybody's excited. We're ready to get these. Um, we're ready. We're just ready. You know what I'm saying? Like, just, just, just ready. Um, give us more Hasbro. Give us more, um, please. You know, this, this was nice. Nice, just out of the blue. Nice. Uh, I love the reveal. I love what Hasbro did. I think that's something done right. I'd rather see it in their hands than some leakers' hands. But anyway, this is great. This is great. You know, it's out. There's packaging, so it's no. This is this is ready to go. Um, whoo, man. Can't wait to get these. Can't wait to get these. So what are your thoughts? Out of all the reveals that shown up, uh, including Shrapnel, because I know a lot of people that sold out, who's ready to get these? I know I am. I'm definitely ready to get these. Um, the other ones, yeah, I, I'll find them. But these, I mean, you know, we know who these figures are. We know where they belong to. We know it's hard to get some, these repaints. And so we're ready. So leave your thoughts down in the comments below. This is Super Robot Ed. We'll see you soon with more news and reviews. Bye-bye.